Um, basically, my friend uh, who I uh, gave this Zippo MPL to, um, which is my favorite version, by the way, with the adjustable head on here and the all black, it's pretty sweet lighter. Um, but anyway, she gave back to me, she said, Jeff, I don't know what's wrong with it. It looks like there's fuel in it because I explained her there's a little fuel window in there and it's filled and it just doesn't work. It was just clicking, wasn't working. So I wanted to troubleshoot the lighter and I did it and I fixed it and everything, but I wanted to kind of, you know, redo <laughs> what I did so I can show you here on film because it's probably a very common problem with butane lighters and this is a butane lighter. Um, and basically what happened with hers is uh, air got trapped in the, uh, the line. Okay, very simple problem, very, very simple fix. Now, first of all, shame on me because I'm not using Zippo Fluid. In fact, besides showing you how to fix your butanes, um, I'm also going to do a rant on this Firebird fuel because it's horrible. It is dirty fuel. Um, I'm just doing this for demo uh, purposes. I do not have any Zippo Blue um, you know, butane right now. I have to go to the smoke shop tomorrow and get some for her because I will you know, empty this out and fill it up with some good fluid so she doesn't have any problems. But um, yeah, this stuff stinks. First of all, this is like a Walmart find probably five years ago. And it was dirt cheap. I think it was like 80 cents a bottle or something on sale. So I bought a bunch of them. I still have it left over. But it's horrible crap. First of all, you can't even get the, the cap off. No matter how hard you pull and try, you can't. <sighs> See? Knocking you all over the place. Um, I have to get a little flathead and like basically pry it off. It's absolutely ridiculous. All right. Uh, the one good thing that it does come with is a little um, adjustment piece here which narrows down the neck so you have the option of using just the straight nozzle like this or for some lighters you do need a smaller like adapter piece so it does come with that but besides that it smells horrible it's dirty um, it runs dirty it does clog up your lighters which is a whole separate issue uh, and you can't get the cap off so I don't like it but for the demo purposes I'll use it here I do like that it's a clear bottle so you can clearly see what's left it's another pro but don't get it it's just it's junk don't ever get it. So anyway, I'm not going to use this tip for this. So first of all, we'll see that the lighter is... <laughs> Actually, I'm running out because I was playing with it. Um, it does, in fact, work. You can see I have the, uh, the flames on, but there's not a lot of fluid in here right now. Plus, there's another issue I'm going to talk about in a second. But it does have fluid in it and is currently working. Although not very impressive looking, it is functional. Um, what happened with hers, like I said, is that there was air trapped in the line. Now this sometimes happens when you refill it. Um, I did make a video on filling a butane lighter before, but there are a couple key points that I missed uh, in making that video. And basically, it's kind of like troubleshooting. It's explaining um, how to fix most problems with butane lighters because if you have Zippo lighters, you've seen you know there's tons of ways to fix very simple problems. However, with butane lighters, if it doesn't work, you don't know what's wrong. Um, usually one of two things, either you have a fuel issue or you have no spark because you need both to create fire. Um, but in this case, we have a spark, everything sparks fine, it's just um, a fuel issue. So there was air trapping line, so what do you do? All right, If your lighter is sparking, you can clearly see a spark uh, in the top, which is going to be just a little blue spark, um, then you know that's not the issue. If that is the issue, then you need to fix your ignition. ignition which uh, could be a real pain in the butt and usually not cost effective. Most of the time it's easier to get into lighter, to be honest. Um, but if you have a fuel issue like this, it's a very, very simple fix. So what you want to do first is empty the lighter completely. Okay, completely purge it is what it's called. And we're going to remove all of the fuel. How do you do that? Well, on the bottom here, we have our flame adjustment knob. But on this particular Zippo, the thing just pulls right off. So you'll see the little valve in there, the refill valve. And all you want to do is push push that with something small and pointy. When you push on that valve, it will open it up, okay, and because we don't have a gas, you know, connected to it, it's just going to leak. You will hear it and see it leak out very fast. We're emptying the fuel on the lighter. Okay, we'll hold the valve open until it stops making that fart noise. <laughs> Sounds silent but deadly. But yeah, I want to completely remove all the gas from inside the lighter and the lines. Now you can hear when I push back on this again, there's still fuel in there. Hopefully you can hear that. So just hold it down, be patient, get all the fuel out. Alright, once it's completely empty, we're going to refill it. 
And the purpose of doing this is again, to make sure that the lines are completely filled with the butane lighter fluid and not oxygen or air. All right. So it just takes a couple seconds. Now, if this is really filled up, it'll be a very big rush of gas and it, it's, it's compressed, so it's very cold. Something else I'll talk about later in this video. Um, so just be careful, because if you go to push like that, it could just shoot all over your hand. It's not gonna hurt you, but being compressed like that, it is extremely cold and it will be uncomfortable. Plus it is a fire hazard. Obviously do not do this open, you know, or around a open flame anywhere. I think that's common sense, but I should say it anyway, since uh, I hear common sense isn't so common. So yeah, don't do this over an open flame anywhere. All right, so almost empty here. Come on. All right, you wanna literally do this until there's no noise whatsoever, but I can't make a video 50 minutes long, you know? So anyway, um, the adjustment I'm just going to put back on, it doesn't matter either way for this. Now, assuming that the lighter is completely out of fuel, okay, which this looks to be, again, you can always check to make sure you have your spark. You can clearly see that nice, substantial blue spark every time I ignite it. So that's not the issue. Now we're empty and we want to refill it. This is where you can refer to the other video, which is very simple. Make sure you're nice and straight up and down. Go very quickly. Make sure you're totally square. Hold it there for a couple seconds. All right. Now, here's a very important part that I did not say in my original uh, lighter video, but it is important. We are dealing with a compressed gas, okay? it is extremely cold. When you fill a butane lighter, you will feel it. The bottom of this is now very, very cold. Um, you need to let your lighter sit, okay? You need to let it sit for a good five to 10 minutes so that this gas becomes room temperature. This is important because you want it to flow properly. Uh, I can tell you almost everyone watching this video probably has never done that. If you own butane lighters that you refill, you filled it and then right away you go, hmm, did I fill it right? And you try it. Now, most of the time it will work. But the gas really should um, take some time to warm up a little bit, all right, so that it can flow properly. Now, just like most people, I'm going to try it right away. And you see it does work. That's fine and everything. But you really, you really should wait a while to have it work properly. Now, because it's cold, even though this is on the high setting, it's not going to come out how I really want it to, which is the um, like a higher more powerful flame. And now, let's see, am I getting a spark? Yep, get my spark, but the fluid is still too cold. So, again, this is where you have more issues. So there we go. See, it really needs time to warm up a little bit. So that's my second tip to you, is first of all, purge your line completely to get all air and other gases out of there. Make sure you're, you're filled up nice, and then give your, your lighter some time to warm up a little bit. All right, that's important for it to work properly. So now this is basically fixed, and the flame on the high setting will get bigger uh, as the fluid warms up a little better. But anyway, you could see, once I like this, if I adjust the base here, I can't control the, the height of the flame to really low, and then this should be higher on high. But anyway, the lighter is functional, but uh, I'm gonna, purge this of this really crappy Firebird Chinese Walmart gas crapola. It is horrible. Um, and I'll get some good Zippo brand butane. I can tell you with regular lighter fluid, okay, for your Zippo lighters, um, you can use Ronson brand, totally fine, works great. You can use cheapo stuff like that. When it comes to butane, do not skimp out. All right, pay the extra $2, whatever it is, get some Zippo brand fluid. Um, you won't be sorry. This cap is ridiculous. Uh, it really does make a difference because cheap butane has all kinds of little particles of crap in there and it's imperfect gas and it's a lot easier to clog than regular lighter fluid. All right, so you don't want any problems with that. So again, to recap real quick, if you're having issues, you're definitely getting a spark, but you're not getting 
um, a flame, completely drain your lighter and refill it to the brim and let it cool down for a little while. And see, I'm getting the coils lightened, but I'm not getting my flame now. It's probably still too cold. Or it could be that, yes, I turned it all the way down. Oh, it's a cheap piece of crack gas. <laughs> I'm doing a demonstration and I am not making it look very good. Looks like I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, all right, there's very few things that can go wrong with butane lighters. But the biggest problem is when you don't have a spark, that means your um, electric starter is not working and that is an issue. And it's not like you can just go get a replacement. You'd have to kind of rig something up or steal it out of a different lighter or for the most part when those goes when those go uh, if you don't have like a lighter collection per se so you can use like spare parts i just throw out your lighter and you know call it a day if it is a zippo brand uh butane lighter of course you have that guarantee that's why we all pay a couple extra bucks for zippo brand lighters because they are guaranteed for life no questions asked by far the best guarantee on the market for any product if it's something's wrong with it send it back we'll fix it or replace it for free every single day of the week. So, awesome. Um, anyway, that's it guys. Just wanted to make that kind of an update on the butane issues because I get uh, questions quite often about butane lighters. People say, well, you got Zippo videos, you know, can you help me out with my butane lighter? It's really cool, got it from my dad, whatever the story is, but it just doesn't work. I don't know why. That's probably gonna fix your problem, guys. Drain it, refill it, and let it cool. Or let it warm up, I should say. So anyway, that's all. Um, and again, while you're doing this with the fuel, please don't do it by a flame anywhere. And like I said, it should be common sense, but I feel like I have to say it anyway, just in case. So that's all, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you. And I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy.